This is Leeds United's 40th game of the season, their fifth in the last 18 days, and injuries are the inevitable downside of such a heavy programme. As you've heard, Jonathan Woodgate, who'd played all 39 games before tonight, is missing with a calf injury. Alfie Holland takes his place, while Lee Boyer, Eric Backer and Jason Wilcox are all forced into action, despite being less than 100% fit. Roma filled 10 of the players who performed so impressively in Italy a week ago. The missing man is Brazilian World Cup star Capu, who's injured Alessandro Rinaldi, his replacement. There was also a question mark concerning Roma's star player Francesco Totti, but he plays thanks to a pain-killing injection in his injured toe. Their lineup includes seven Italians, two Brazilians, a Frenchman and the Japanese superstar Hidetoshi Nakata. Well, Leeds revert to a back four tonight. They started off in Rome with a back three. It quickly changed because things weren't settled. Tonight, they decided to go with Haaland in the absence of Woodgate. Could possibly have put in Michael Dubry, but Haaland gets the nod. In midfield, they're definitely strengthened by the return of McPhail and Wilcox. What it also gives them is better balance. McPhail and Wilcox, both two left-footers. Then move on to the Roma side. And they're more or less the same as they were over in Rome, apart from uh, the loss of Cafu, which is a big loss, because we've spoken about their attacking players, and he's one of the most attacking fullbacks there is. Ronaldo comes in for him, it's a three at the back, four in midfield, and then the real strength of the side in terms of their offensive lineup. Totti just playing in behind the front two runners of De Vecchio and Montella. Well, it's been described as Leeds United's biggest game for years. They haven't beaten an Italian club in Europe since they reached the Champions Cup final way back in 1975. And, of course, Leeds will have to end that record here tonight to reach the quarter-final in front of a capacity crowd at Ellen Road. They have got an excellent home record in Europe. This is their 55th tie here spread over a total of 15 seasons of European competition and they've only lost eight times in that period. Of course Leeds, the first British club ever to win this competition, 32 years ago now, and they are England's most successful club ever in the UEFA Cup. They've won it twice and actually appeared in three finals in five seasons in the Don Revy era. But make no mistake, Roma are a top-quality European side. Domestically, enjoying their best season for 10 years in Syria. They, in fact, led the table, Roma, early on. Have dropped down now to fourth, some eight points behind the leaders, Juventus, who beat them in a critical league match by two goals to one just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Roman rivals Lazio second in the table and then the two Milan giants either side of Roma that's how good they are but Leeds United are having a wonderful season as well domestically four points behind Manchester United in the Premiership and with their thoughts still set very much on a championship challenge Lucas Radebe will lead Leeds United again tonight he always looks so calm cool and relaxed. His only two goals this season came in this competition, including the winner in the last round here against Spartak Moscow. A late, late, but very valuable goal. Same again tonight, would do nicely from Leeds United's point of view. Well, these Roma players are battle-hardened. They're used to a terrific atmosphere. They're used to pressure matches. But Ellen Road, in full cry, can be something special and very intimidating. And it is certainly a wonderful atmosphere here in Yorkshire tonight. Road 
road has been the fortress it was in days gone by for Leeds this season. They've won 15 of their 19 League and Cup games here. Just three defeats, all in the Premiership, against Liverpool, Aston Villa and Manchester United. But they will really need to be at their very best, I think, tonight against the Italians from Roma. I'll tell you what, how these supporters have given the Leeds players a tremendous reception and I think that's going to spur them on to a great performance tonight. You're right in what you're saying, there's a lot of experience in the Roma side and they've played in front of bigger crowds than this quite regularly in Italy but they don't play in front of a crowd that is so close to you. They're right on top here, they're noisy, they're really up for it tonight and I think the Leeds players will also be up for it. It's a massive match for both teams, nicely poised, I think we're in for a treat tonight. And here's the Leeds battle cry. Well, it's perfectly poised, isn't it, at nil-nil. Well, no doubt if David O'Leary had had his choice, he would have preferred a score draw out in the Olympic Stadium. Because remember, Leeds have to win tonight. Any score draw would see Roma go through on away goals. Nil-nil, the only scoreline that would lead to extra time and penalties if needed. And we already know who the winners will play, Slavia Prague in the quarter-final, and they'll be at home in the first leg in seven days' time. I have to say, if it hadn't been for Nigel Martin, this tie might have been virtually over even before a ball has been kicked tonight. He produced an awesome display in the Olympic Stadium a week ago. And in particular, denied Roma's Francesco Totti a potential hat-trick, but the Italian international, injury or not, is certain to be a big danger to Leeds again tonight. He's also their captain. Well, the Leeds United manager, David O'Leary, in typical fashion, playing things down, says it will be no big deal if we lose tonight. As far as he's concerned, he says we've come as far as we can in this competition. But his players will be making sure that uh, those words are misplaced, I'm sure. Harry Kuehl, who is excellent in the Olympic Stadium, started on the left of a uh, midfield that was there to hold what they had, a nil-nil draw, and succeeded in the end, but ended up as a major attacking influence on the game. And David O'Leary, 16 months in charge now, has forged an exciting, skillful and attack-minded young team here. They'll have to produce all those qualities against Roma. Who beat Leeds, of course, in the same competition. Last season they won 1-0 in the Olympic Stadium. Del Vecchio getting the goal and then drew 0-0 here at Ellen Road. And they had exactly the same situation this season. In fact, in the last round when they played Newcastle United. A 1-0 victory in Rome, a goalless draw in England. But remarkably, Roma have never won a European tie in this country in six previous attempts against Birmingham City, Sheffield Wednesday, Chelsea, Ipswich, Leeds last season, Newcastle this. The Spanish referee, Jose Garcia Aranda, gets us underway then. Leeds United in a something of a mix-and-match strip tonight of their usual white shirts and socks but they're changed dark blue shorts for some reason, presumably because Roma are playing in white shorts themselves. The mastermind behind Roma's tactics, Fabio Capello, in his first season in charge of Roma, the former European Cup winner and four times Italian Championship winner in his days with AC Milan. Which is attempting to win the first corner, I think they'll have to settle for a throw though, Leeds. Yes, but it gives Leeds the chance to uh, exploit the long throw. In fact, Kelly goes short into the feet of Kuehl. And gets it back again. And backers cross a little wayward. Had a long run in the team with uh, David Batty out injured. Started all but one of the last 18 games, in fact, backer. And David Batty seemingly not that much closer to a return either. I gather they had to withdraw him from a possible... Uh, Reserve team match a few days ago, he's still suffering with that calf. Yes, and in fact, missed him. 
In fact, Alan, this would have been the ideal type of game for him with Totti just playing in behind the front two. He could have uh, played his normal holding role there, but I think tonight that role would probably go to Eric Backer. Alfie Holland preferred to Jubri at the heart of defence in place of the injured Woodgate. Jubri, in fact, one of the Leeds United substitutes tonight. Roma beat Vittorio Setubal of Portugal 7-1 on aggregate, then Gothenburg and Newcastle to get to this stage. And they haven't conceded in their last five European ties. There's Condela, the French international. Totti, the captain and playmaker. Leeds know all about the threat from him. Challenge there by Radovi. And they don't want to concede too many free kicks because Totti in the Olympic Stadium and indeed one or two of his teammates show how dangerous they can be in these uh, particular scenarios. Yeah, I think it was a tackle from behind from uh, Radovi on Del Vecchio, but he certainly over exaggerated and made sure that the referee was going to give the free kick. But what it does do, Alan, it uh, provides. Roma with the opportunity to get the ball from this free kick, I would think, to Totti, who is always a danger from this sort of area. Condela, the player over the ball, and it's Totti who'll hit it. And Leeds survived the first threat on their goal, the wayward effort by Mangone way over the crossbar. Well, it was pretty obvious that Totti was the man lined up to hit it, but fortunately for Leeds, he hits it straight into the wall. It rebounds to a Roma player who tries to hook it over his shoulder, but wayward, not a problem for Leeds. Radovi wins the header against the smaller Montella. And Hart ensures that Leeds United get the throw. On the line, what a great result that was for Leeds in the Olympic Stadium. Roma had won 16 of their previous 17 home ties in Europe prior to last week. There's Totti again, and that's an excellent ball. Once again, Montella pulling wide. Holland's gone out with him. Del Vecchio in the box. So too is Nakata, the Japanese international. Here he is. Leeds have it back. And have the chance to break Bridges that's a good ball swept on by Wilcox Kewell on the left four in the box here for Leeds United but for once Harry Kewell delayed the cross and Montella up against Radovi Roma's throw Well, There's a good swift break by Leeds on the counter-attack. Roma with plenty of possession. But if they can break like this, they've got quick players in forward areas and Kuehl and Bridges. And a pretty obvious foul there by the Brazilian international Aldeia, which has left Kuehl holding his shin. Thirty-four now, all day. Uh, his tenth season with Roma, a World Cup winner with Brazil in 1994, and the finalist four years later. Well, I can't understand why the referee hasn't allowed the trainer to come on. You know, Harry Kew looks to be in a bad way at the moment. And of all the players, David O'Leary would not want to see injured early on. He perhaps would top that list. Also a little surprising, Trevor, that Aldea uh, perhaps wasn't cautioned for this. Well, it was quite deliberate, wasn't it? I would think that uh, after the first game, he's been targeted as the main danger man for Leeds. <coughs> quite clearly, there was no attempt from Aldea to play the ball, tackle from behind.
David O'Leary applauds the fans who applaud him as he leaves the director's box to go to the touchline, obviously anxious here about the uh, injury to Kewell. He was still limping heavily. Yes, it looks to me as if he's slightly gone over on his ankle. And for his sake and Leeds, he's got to hope that uh, he hasn't damaged ligaments. Game will restart with a Leeds free kick. Looks a bit far out for Hart. And although he's a two-footed player, he's stronger on his left. But I would imagine it's more likely to be a cross than a shot on target here. We shall see. There's only one player at this moment in the penalty box, Alan. Two now with Haaland going in. I think it was a shot. It wasn't very well hit. Radaby, Kelly. Good skill. And back has done well. Ondelard takes it from him. And a dangerous ball across his own penalty area there by the French international. Roman have got away with it. Well, a good positive start by Leeds, but uh, as we all know, Italian teams, the Masters, are holding on and looking dangerous on the break. They had so much possession early on in the Olympic Stadium, they didn't need to do that. But I wouldn't say this is a typical Italian team, Alan, is it? When you look at the uh, number of offensive players in the lineup, you know, many thought that perhaps they may change their strategy from what they did over in Rome, but it's, it's identical, same shape of the side. This is the furthest Leeds United have been in Europe for 25 years since they reached the Champions Cup final in 1975. And they've only lost once in their last eight European ties under David O'Leary. That was away to Spartak Moscow in the last round. A result they reversed here at Ellen Road. Harry Kuehl switched from the left to the right and looks OK again. Tackled by Mangone. And the throw will be left to Gary Kelly. Kuehl. Lovely skill by the Australian. Could have been a dangerous ball. Antonioli reacted well. He could have easily caught the goalkeeper out there. Yeah, I don't think he was looking for the shot, Alan. I think he, it's a good bit of individual play. This gets away from uh, Mangoni. I think that's a cross into the box. With an intended cross, I should say. Another free kick to Leeds, even though Zago claims that his shirt was being held. The other Brazilian international in the uh, Roma defence. They might have had three, but Cafu, Brazil's captain, is out injured. And that looked like a block. The referee didn't read it that way, which is unhappy he was not allowed to go on to the through ball. possession in the end. Paulin cuts out a dangerous looking ball. Liboya. And again. Now Condola. Totti. Much too strong for Del Vecchio. It's only 23, Francesco Totti. Already a big star, and remarkably, for one so young, he's in his eighth season now in the Italian league. Yes, it wasn't a particularly good ball from Totti trying to release Del Vecchio, but there was a warning there for Leeds because in the centre of the park, Lee Boyer was guilty of giving the ball away carelessly, losing possession, and quickly Roma tried to hit them on the counter-attack. Well, if you want to watch Deportivo La Coruña against Arsenal, can I remind you that you press the backup button on your handset, and then press the green button, simple as that. Arsenal well ahead, of course, from the first leg. This tie intriguingly set up. Kuehl 
Ball trying to lose his marker. Nigel Martin will take the free kick. Bridges turning it on. Condela's clearance. Ball and for Leeds. Nakata. And given away by Condela to Boya. Bridges just turned into trouble in the end. Determined play by Leeds and McPhail. Very determined that ball was going to be his. McPhail again. Wilcox down the touchline. And a great ball to find him. First corner of the game to Leeds. Challenged by Zago. Well, that was good play from the two players who didn't play over in Rome. Good link up between McPhail and Wilcox. Two left footers. That's where I think the Leeds may get a little bit of joy tonight. Without Cafu, Rinaldi coming into the side, facing the more direct Wilcox. He could pr provide one or two good... Just leave it there for a second as the ball comes to the box. I was going to say, with his direct play, he could provide one or two danger moments for Roma if he can get past Rinaldi and provide crosses for Bridges and Kuehl. Yes, Wilcox unable to play in the first leg because he was suspended following a red card playing for Blackburn in this competition 18 months ago. Seems rather harsh, but uh, sending off that long ago should still count. Radovi's header, a fail beaten to it by Tomazzi. Good play from Kuehl. Bridges the furthest forward for Leeds here. Training the foul, not given by the Spanish referee. But here's Boya. Little neat back header by Aldea. Condela's turned into trouble again. Tripped, however, by Harry Kuehl. And Radaby got there ahead of Montella. Hart. Some space opening up on the left here for Leeds. But well it's, uh, that ball was being played forward. Wilcox was claiming that he was caught as he passed the ball out wide. Yes, and I think that uh, the crowd think it's a free kick. Linesman's flagged, but he's flagging for the ball. Out of play and a throw in for Roma. One or two quite late challenges going in. I think the referee's got to get a grip of this. Here's one. As Wilcock lays the ball off, it's the Japanese player Nakatao comes in, catches him from behind. How oh, that's a free kick to Roma, I just do not know. No, that is an absolute mystery. Good interception again by Radaby on Montella. Cure. Brilliant play by Kuehl. Oh, what a shame the cross wasn't up to the run that preceded it. Excellent strength and power and pace shown here by Harry Kuehl. Gets away from Mangoni. Unfortunately, couldn't quite execute the cross. His colleague and front runner up front, Bridges, is waiting for the ball in the box. first to it again. Aldea under pressure from Bridges, did very well to find Totti. First time ball was aimed in the uh, direction of Montella. And Leeds looking pretty solid at the back of the moment. Certainly a lot happier with their usual system than they were with the experimental formation that David O'Leary tried early on in Rome. And then had the good sense to uh, change. And it was clear it wasn't really working. Here's Totti. First time ball for Del Vecchio. That is brilliant fullback play by Kelly. But what a ball that was from Totti, Allen. Unfortunately, the control of Del Vecchio didn't match the pass, but it was a great pick out from Totti. And he's on the ball again here. For 
he lines up the shot. Well, compared to the kind of efforts that Nigel Martin had to deal with in Rome, that was almost like a back pass. in the UEFA Cup, a further caution would mean that he would be suspended for the next match if there is to be one of course for Leeds United and it would happen in seven days time if they get through tonight they would play Slavia Prague here at Ellen Road in the first leg of the quarter-final the uh, ties for that stage were drawn early to enable teams to make the necessary arrangements Mangoni, Totti, spots Rinaldi moving forward, first time ball for Montella, Radebi got there first, and how often have I said that already, now Kuehl, there's Nakata, Holland read the danger well, They overhit the ball aimed at Boya, and Oldeya gets it clear. Well, it's Boya's natural instinct, isn't it, to try and go forward, but he has to be careful, because every time he goes forward, Totti just plays in that little hole there, and if Leeds do lose possession, he's totally unmarked. Ironic cheers for the referee, he's finally awarded Leeds a free kick. and on the edge of the box Wilcox furthest forward here for Leeds Backer now has just joined them came close with a header early on in the Olympic Stadium Ooh. well to get away with that kind of defending suggests that Zago might be in for a lucky night an optimistic shout from the Leeds crowd for a deliberate back pass I hardly think so well, I was a little surprised there that uh, Harry Kill didn't try and attack that ball it was well flighted from uh, Kelly Uh, reached the quarter-final of last season's UEFA Cup where they were knocked out by Atletico Madrid they are former European Cup finalists as every Liverpool fan will remember losing on their own ground against Liverpool in 1984 they've also reached the final of the UEFA some nine years ago and lost that as well against another Italian club Inter Milan and uh, Fabio Capello here was winning all before him with AC Milan, who also has led a team to victory in the Spanish League in his first season, in fact, at Real Madrid, one of the most respected coaches in Europe. Yeah, I would think he's very pleased with the opening 20 minutes. Leeds have been uh, unable to penetrate the Roma defence. They look very solid, got a nice look to them, good shape. Bridges wins the throw and takes it quickly, intelligent play by him. Lee Boya, just waiting for players to arrive in the box. The throw has gone Roma's way. Condillac played once for France in the World Cup. Of, uh, years ago now. Nakata's header, turned on by Del Vecchio. Kuehl, just directed it the wrong side of Bridges. Mangoni's clearance. Orland, lovely ball. Kuehl, Tomazzi took it off him. Let's remind you that if you would like to watch Deportivo La Caragna against Arsenal, then press the backup button on your handset, followed by the green button, and you can do just that. 
almost midway through the first half here at Ellen Road and not a serious threat as yet on either goal McPhail has given it away Montella Rinaldi down the right Del Vecchio in the penalty area unfortunately for Leeds the cross just beyond him The uh, linesman has indicated that that had crossed the line as Boya tried to prevent the throw, but it is Leeds United's throw. <laughs> Lovely little layoff by Bridges. Once again, Boya can't keep it in play, though. David O'Leary saying that uh, Lee Bowyer's calves have literally packed up. He's had so much football of late. But he's uh, got himself off the treatment table again. Have to keep on running in that Leeds midfield. Totti battling away well there. Taken off him though by Wilcox. This is hard for Leeds United. He was caught, and if the referee saw that, he's got to surely reach for a yellow card. Well, I commented a little bit earlier on about the lateness of one or two tackles. The referee didn't get a grip of it. On this occasion, it's Totti leaving his foot there as Ian Hart tries to play a ball down the line. He knows he's the guilty one, and, and the bucky goes. Well, a deserved caution, I think a player has already been sent off twice in Italian football this season. Flipped on by Kuehl. Condela's clearance. Del Vecchio. Mangoni. This is Nakata. Well, lovely skill. Decent looking ball too, but Montella outpaced by Radaby. <laughs> if allows play to go on, although it was a foul by Condela, now Bowie has given it away. Back up, winning it back. Bridges, Kuehl alongside him, Bowie moving down the right. This is Aldea. Kelly doing well, Boya. Eric Backer. Another strong run by the young Norwegian. Been a very, very good signing for Leeds United. And here he is again. Oh, brilliant. the cross excellent play that from Baka shows brilliant skill here pushes it through the legs of Nakata not particularly good defending drives it in the near post tries to catch the keeper Antonioli but he's alive to the situation and Holland has lost out to Del Vecchio here the ball just clearing his head and he had to make that saving challenge When this ball goes over the head of Alfie Haaland, danger threatens. The control of Dovecchio isn't the best. Looking for a chest control to set it up for the volley. The chest control took it away from him. In the end, Haaland just ushers it out for a corner. From his first of the game. And an attempted spectacular overhead kick by Vincenzo Montella. He was their big signing last summer, £15 million pounds reputedly from Sampdoria after they were relegated. There are a lot of players on who try that and are not really capable of doing it, but uh, I've seen him do that once or twice, once or twice and the ball has actually ended in the back of the net. Back has given it away here to Rinaldi. 
Totti again in that hole behind the strikers, finding Montella. Danger here for Leeds United. And a combination of Kelly and Radovi made sure that danger never materialised. But a scary moment. Yes, and uh, the problem's all coming from Totti. He's not being picked up there. Leeds are giving him too much space. I rather feel they're going to try and condense the play a little bit more and take the space away from uh, Totti at the moment. He's finding acres of room and he's really controlling this first half. Whenever he gets possession, his passing is so good, he looks. And you've got the movement in front of him for Montella and Del Vecchio and it's a big problem for Leeds. They're going to try and push out from the back and try and condense the play. For me, they're playing far too deep at the moment. And as I mentioned before the kickoff, Roma have huge experience. They've played almost 150 ties in Europe down the years and won over half of them. Bridges. Tomazzi wins it back. Nakata. That's another little problem that Leeds have, Alan, that uh, we've got to try to keep it in forward areas a little bit longer. You know, every time it goes into bridges, it continually loses possession. That's the difference between the strikers of Roma and the strikers of Leeds. Roma are keeping possession, allowing the midfield players to get up and support. This is what Bridges has got to do, keep the ball. And this time he's done just that. Jason Wilcox. Slides it forward for Kuehl. And all the experience of all they uh, needed then by Roma. It's a good little ball from Wilcox, but Ardair read the situation. Just got his body in front of Harry Kuehl. Just saw it out of play. Good experience play. And the player who's had a great career, Ardair. in the uh, Benfica team that reached the Champions Cup final ten years ago now. Got a move to Roma just after that. Condela for the Italians. Here again is Totti. He was confident of his ability. He used to be a striker and it was uh, Capello who switched him into this new role behind the front two in which he has been so effective. Possession given away there by Leeds, fortunately, Vincenzo Montella offside. He is a second in the scoring charts in Italy at the moment, Montella, 15 league goals. And he's got three in the European competition as well. Well, tomorrow night on Sky Sports 2 and Sky Sports Extra, we'll have third division action for you, Swansea against Northampton. And then on Sunday, Division 1, Blackburn Rovers versus Crew Alexandra. That programme begins at midday. Here's McPhail. And it breaks again to Totti, and that means danger. Not this time, though. Loose ball, picked off easily by Radovic. Bridges. Kiel, instant control, but Mangoni dispossesses him. Now Nakata, Totti to his left. Now, fortunately, his shooting has been uh, not exactly off target, but no power behind his two efforts so far. So Trevor says Leeds should be concerned that he's getting that kind of room. Well, David O'Leary's trying to be positive, Alan, by playing Wilcox wide on the touchline here. You see him out wide, but he's putting a tremendous onus on the midfield boys. And they're being outnumbered because it's the problem that I keep on about Totti, who's playing in that little area there. And the midfield boys, they need a little bit of help. I think they could do with getting Wilcox a little bit narrower 
try and deny the space. Now back at taking leads forward. Unlucky. Totti again. Gets it back off Kelly. And the ball for Del Vecchio, too strong. Young Matthew Jones was given the job of uh, almost man-for-man -man marking Totti in the first game. It didn't really work, and David O'Leary, as I mentioned, changed that inside the first 15 minutes in Rome. but the referee seems to have given Leeds a free kick there. I think the linesman was indicating throw, but it's even better for Leeds. Stephen McPhail with the free kick. Five in a line for Leeds United inside the penalty area. Much too flat, the kick. That's disappointing, really. Leeds have... Uh, Passed up a good opportunity to put pressure on Roma then. The back heeler by Bridges, brilliant. And Boya's first time cross almost found Harry Cure and Fagnoli there first. Yes, I don't think anybody expected that cross. Least of all Harry Cure, and that's why he never reacted. But it wasn't a bad cross into the near post. There goes Montella. Now Condela. He was expecting the whistle. He hasn't gone. And Paulin protests about what he thought was a bit of gamesmanship there by the Roma player. Clearance by Zago. Tomazzi. And again. That's what the Italians are good at, keeping possession. The control is so good. In tight areas, they keep possession well. Condela, space opens up for him as McPhail slipped. And the return ball, fortunately, just a shade too hard. again. Oh, lovely first-time ball for Totti. Montella. And Totti's in support here. He couldn't pick him out. Wilcox very deep here. But has kept possession and found Backer. Well, he's been hounded out of it. There's four against three momentarily here. Great run by Montella. Superb tackle, but still danger. Nigel Martin gets it half clear. Totti onto the loose ball. Nakata with the shot, deflected away. And that's a corner. It could have been much worse for Leeds. Well, you get the feeling, Alan, that it's only a matter of time before Roma take the lead. I just hope for Leeds' sake that he can get through to half-time and gives the manager, Dead O'Leary, a chance to possibly change things. But at the moment, with ten minutes to go, they do look like conceding. Condela for Roma. This is danger. Fortunately, he had to go wide. Rinaldi plays it back in. Del Vecchio beaten to it by Nigel Martin. Phenomenal signs here for Leeds United. Roma getting better. Mangoni's clearance. He's gone straight to McPhail. First time ball for Kuehl. Once again, Alde uh, in control. Ian Hart. Cox and Bridges combining in a lovely ball for Hart. Oh, this is a great run. Well, a very optimistic shout from the crowd as Tomazzi made the sliding tackle. 
They wanted a penalty. The referee waved play on. Well, that's the first problem that Leeds have caused. It come from the left back, Ian Hart. Certainly for me, it wasn't a penalty. Well timed tackle from Tom Arcee. The referee was right on the spot. And Hart it was in his own half who uh, ended that Roma attack. But certainly that was more encouraging. Poor clearance by Mangoni. Great run this from Ian Hart. Feints to come inside onto his right foot. And there you see the tackle from Tomasi, timed perfectly. He just has a little look, makes sure the referee sees it the way he did. Quite clearly played the ball. Harry Kuhl. off to Marcy onto his left foot good save by the keeper I'm not so sure it was going in probably would have won there it was just going wide but he covers that near post Antonioli makes sure good couple of minutes this for Leeds again the uh, set piece comes to nothing But strangely enough, Trevor, just when Leeds seemed at their most vulnerable, they've come back and uh, produced their best threat. Yes, it's taken them 36, 37 minutes to really mount a serious attack and uh, ask one or two questions of the Roma defence, because really it's been a comfortable ride for the uh, Roma players. They've been the better side, but that was more encouraging. And as you would expect, if there was going to come a threat, it was going to come from Harry Kiel. He's their most dangerous player, has been all season. Certainly, that bit of play just reminded that the Roma players that he's around. Bridges finding a bit of room. Hart. Wilcox on the left. And Bridges committed a foul, I think, as the ball came over. And uh, not at all happy about that. The Italians and the Frenchman Condila. Well, did the linesman put his flag up for a foul or was he offside? <laughs> well, there was a little bit of contact, wasn't there, on the keeper? Nothing much. He's a big lad, the keeper. No need for the other Roma defenders to get involved. And Condola again involved. And the referee must have seen that. No one knows he was close enough. I think the two of them could go in the book here, Alan. Needs to settle it down a little bit, the referee. Two yellow cards. Yeah, I thought so. Postscript to what had just gone before in the penalty box. And both Vincent Condela and Michael Bridges are on a caution. Well, you mentioned that Totti has been uh, dismissed a couple of times. Also, Candela has been dismissed this season. And you can see the reason why there. A reaction. I think there's a little knee in the face of Bridges. Tomazzi. That's good skill. And the player who is Asian Footballer of the Year. And finds Rinaldi down the right. Here's Totti. And back it goes to the defender. Well, from where I was uh, looking, he had two teammates better placed than he was, perhaps, for the shot. Yes, I think Ian Hart just did enough here, but uh, great attacking play from Rinaldi. We spoke about Cafu, who normally plays in the right-back area, as being an outstanding attacking fullback, possibly the best in the world. But uh, this lad here likes to get forward too. Rinaldi, one of three players that Capello signed from Bologna during the summer as he uh, reshaped the squad 
in his first season in control of Roma. Who have been fifth, third and fifth in the Italian league in the previous three seasons. Here's Montella. That'll be the defender. And he's taking it over the line. Leads throw. You can see the funny side. Oops, I don't think he enjoyed the joke then, though. Alfie Holland gets it away, only as far as Nakata. He's apparently a superstar in the Far East, Hidetoshi Nakata. Nigel Martin, quite popular in Yorkshire. Well, Vecchio doing well here. Good tackle. Really on his game tonight, Hart. Obviously, this is a crucial period for Leeds to keep their concentration and discipline just before half-time. Montella. Condilla. Radaby, very, very calm. Nigel Martin has got away with a mistake. I'm not quite sure what Nigel was tempted to do there. But certainly, Montella was quick to react to it. Decent ball, however, once again, Bridges failed to hold it up. There's Kelly. And Bridges. Well, he's looked really good back there in these ghosting runs. This is another fine dribble, and the centre was completely sliced by Aldeia. He wouldn't have had a clue where that was going. Well, that was a great play from Backer, but you feel that Lee's going to take a chance and get across that first post. It's the second occasion now that balls have come in there, and nobody has bothered to go across the first post. I think on this occasion you see Harry Kuhn in the box and Jason Wilcox. Back under pressure, there's only one place he can put it, that's a near post. No reaction at all from the two Leeds players. Back again, now McPhail. Disappointing from him and Leeds momentarily a little stretched here. Nakata leaving it to Montella. And now Totti. And back it goes to Montella. Oh, if he'd have got that right, surely Roma would have been in front. But what about the vision again from Totti? Terrific play. I just wonder, you know, if David O'Leary will be considering changing the shape of the side at half time. Well, he's got uh, two minutes of stoppage time to survive, if that's the right word, before he can uh, get at his team in the dressing room. Of course, he doesn't have Woodgate, so he can't use him as one of three at the back. He's injured, but he's got Dubry on the bench. I'm sure it may be a consideration for David. He can't be happy with the first half. Though it's nil-nil, he'll be pleased to go in nil-nil because Roma have threatened. They almost scored there with Montella. His uh, foot was raised a little high on that occasion. Free kick to Leeds. David O'Leary on the uh, touchline, barking out orders again. And I mean barking him out. It was a wasteful free kick, fortunately Montella was offside. 
Referee's allowed play to go on. Ruston leads no favours, is it? Absolutely. There are advantages and advantages, and that certainly wasn't one. I was going to say, if that's an advantage, you can keep it. Yeah. Oh. Foul there by Kewell. He's certainly a demonstrative, the Spanish referee. He certainly seemed to enjoy issuing those yellow cards earlier as well. Great flourish. Mangoni's free kick. Radaby wins it back for Leeds United. Bridges just directed the header the wrong way. Nakata. Mangoni with the ball over the top. Del Vecchio offside this time. Oh, I'd like to see that again. I'm not so sure when that ball was kicked, he was offside. Well, there you can see clearly onside. And that uh, incorrect. But fortunate decision from Leeds United's point of view brings to an end a first half in which certainly Francesco Totti has been the star man just as he was in the Olympic Stadium in Rome a week ago. He has really pulled things together for Roma in that position just behind the strikers. He's given Leeds a lot of problems in that respect. But at half time, Leeds United have what they had at the end of 90 minutes in the Olympic Stadium, and that is a goalless scoreline. Leeds United nil. Roman nil here at Allen Road. And if they have it at the end of 90 minutes, we of course will be facing extra time. We'll get the thoughts of Graham and Allen very shortly now. Incidentally, the second half in Spain, Deportivo, La Coruña and Arsenal, that has just started. If you want to see that game, push the backup button on your handset and then the green button. That will give you La Coruña against Arsenal. Of course, we'll be seeing highlights of that here later. But at half-time at Elland Road, it is Leeds United nil, Roma nil. And we'll be back very shortly. Highlights from Spain later here, after the second half of Leeds and Roma. Match commentators Trevor Francis and Alan Parry. Thanks, Richard. And I'm sure the name of Francesco Totti will have figured prominently in David O'Leary's half-time team talk to his Leeds United players. They cannot give him the kind of freedom he enjoyed in the first half. Well, the UEFA Cup's always been a very difficult competition to progress in, and this season it's harder than ever with teams dropping down from the Champions League. Some of those left in before tonight's ties, Juventus, Galatasaray, Atletico Madrid, Monaco, Parma. Slavia Prague definitely through to the quarterfinals, remember, and they will play the winners of this game. Nil-nil. If it remains that way, we will have extra time and then if necessary penalties but a score draw irrespective of how many goals are involved will mean that Fabio Capello's team go through on the away goals rule a very demonstrative character he makes Martin O'Neill look subdued on the touchline at times Hart who had an excellent first half for Leeds Interception was by uh, Vivaldi. The referee wouldn't let him get away with the second challenge, nor Nakata, who committed the foul. And the backer tried to take it early. Totti prevented that. But that might be no bad thing because uh, Hart slides it. And rather caught back by surprise, I think. Yes, I think it was always going to be too far out for uh, Hart to shoot. Must have been all of 35 yards. It was interesting that the two centre-halves, Radaby and Haaland, elected not to come up. Not blessed with great heights in the side leads. Possibly could have done with uh, at least one of them. Pushing forward just to cause one or two problems. Leeds have beaten Partizan Belgrade, Lokomotiv Moscow and then Spartak Moscow to get to this stage. They haven't beaten an Italian club in Europe for 32 years since they knocked out Napoli in this competition way back in 1968. Here's Totti again, lovely looking ball for Del Vecchio. Holland just did enough.
Once again, another demonstration of Totti's excellent passing skills. Just let the ball run across him, knew exactly where Del Vecchio was. He got himself in between Haaland and Kelly, and it was a superb ball. There's Nagata. Naka chipping away at his ankles there, and wins it back. But the uh, little Japanese player proves that he's no slouch either. Just a bit too hard the ball for Del Vecchio. Alfie Holland there again, looking very composed. Especially uh, considering that he's only started a handful of games for Leeds this season. But fail beaten to it. Now to Mazzi. Totti turns it long again. Del Vecchio looking for Montella. And Montella just denied by Lucas Radovi. Roma have started this half in top gear. Now they're on the back foot, however. Jason Wilcox. Only Kuehl ahead of him. Bridge is now arriving. And he looked to pick out Kuehl. Hart. There's Radaby for Leeds. The captain finds Boya. On to Kuehl. And Goni just got in the way. But once again, Trevor, Totti, the man to create the danger. Yeah, he just lets the ball run across him, plays it in behind Haaland. The ball doesn't sit up kindly for Del Vecchio, but it's good strength from Alfie Haaland. Who's there again to deny Roma? Condela winning it back. Montella. Totti. And uh, Leeds have a player down injured. It is, in fact, Alfie Haaland. As Totti again plays it forward, looking for Del Vecchio. Hart wasn't quite sure where he was, so concedes the corner. And before play restarts, Haaland's going to need treatment. Been very patient this season, Alfie Haaland, sitting on the sidelines for most of it. Has taken his chance well, particularly in European games. A reminder at this stage that if you would like to watch Deportivo La Coruña against Arsenal in their UEFA tie tonight, then all you have to do is press the backup button on your handset and then press the green button. The referee has indicated he wants the stretcher here for Alfie Holland, so he's going to have to go off, however bad the injury is. Leeds do have Michael Dubry on the bench. He was an unused substitute in Rome and uh, hasn't figured for the last few games. Played around a dozen times for Leeds United after his move from Chelsea, where he had nine years. But he looks in a bit of trouble still, the Norwegian international. And he'll immediately be missed from this Roma corner. And another. Short this time to Rinaldi. And that's a decent looking ball and the downward header might have produced real danger there. All the air realizes he's missed a golden opportunity with Nigel Martin nowhere near him. Great little bit of skill this from Rinaldi. Puts in a superb ball. And really that's an excellent chance that Aldair should have done better with. Totally unmarked, free header. One of Leeds' big headers of the ball, Alfie Haaland was off the field. They're always going to be one less in the box. And really they're slightly fortunate to get away with it. Well, they certainly had a crowd of players on that uh, far post. But it was still the Brazilian who won the ball. And he wins it again on the ground this time. But has lost out in the challenge to Lee Boya. Now Hart. Long ball for Wilcox. Well read by Mangoni. However, the linesman on the far side has indicated offside anyway.
Poland back on the field and back defending. Still looks in a bit of pain. Yes, it appeared, Alan, that it was a straightforward kick to the uh, ankle area. If it is a kick, you would possibly get away with that. Here's Kewell. Ball comes out to Hart, who can hit the ball as sweetly as anyone out there. Yes, it falls invitedly for Ian Hart onto his favourite left foot, but he just can't quite keep it on target. There's a career-best seven goals for Leeds this season, Ian Hart, four of them from the penalty spot, and one of them in this competition. Here's Totti, gets it wrong this time, Kelly's interception. A long ball by Bowie, a bit too long. Calm defending from Mangoni, and here he is again. Domazzi. Zago, poor ball. Zago makes amends, winning the header. Now Wilcox, given away to Nakata. Montella. Well, Hart has done nothing wrong for Leeds tonight, and there's a good ball for Kewell. Saw the challenge coming and felt that he was fouled, but uh, once again the Spanish referee says play on, and Radaby had to be in the right place then. And Totti wins it back. Del Vecchio and uh, also Montella in the penalty box here for Roma. Well, once again, Radaby tonight has been superb at the heart of the defence for Leeds. He reads the play so well. And Nigel Martin certainly has been nothing like as busy as he was in the Olympic Stadium seven days ago. Doesn't mean to say that Roma haven't looked dangerous, they most certainly have. He's conceded only one goal in his last five European ties, Nigel Martin. Leads with an excellent defensive record at home and abroad this season. Good play by Backer. Hart. And this is Kelly. And Bridges wins it back and just stumbled into the ball and has lost possession. Now Nakata, Montella. Once again, Radaby's reading of the game was superb. Mentioned about how he reads the play well, but his pace gets him out of trouble on so many occasions. And Leeds commit a lot of men forward in this attack, and a game in which one game goal rather could be so vital. Ten minutes gone in the second half, still goal less on the night and on aggregate. Here's Bridges. A little turn inside Zago, who stood his ground and obstructed him. Leeds free kick. Well, on this occasion, Leeds do send one of the big fellas forward. That's the Norwegian, Alfie Haaland. He goes forward. Radaby stays back. <laughs> and two excellent left footed players available to deliver here. Although it looks from the way he's lining it up as though. Hart might take this with his right foot. Good one nonetheless. However, all day, yeah, in the right place to clear. But, but once again, Alan, nobody goes to the near post. That's happened on two or three occasions tonight. You don't attack that near post. Well, you're playing it back in. Cleared by Rinaldi. And a break on here for Totti. As usual, Del Vecchio and Montella ahead of him. This is Del Vecchio. Well, Radaby's pace 
pace was absolutely vital there for Leeds. And I was surprised that Del Vecchio didn't hit this one earlier. Once again, a magnificent ball from Totti. Now, could he have hit it first time as it bounced? He elects to take it on and gives Radovi the chance to get in the tackle. He didn't think it was a corner. Holland got that away. Here's Wilcox. Kewell. And back by Rinaldi, the crowd thought that was handball. Now the linesman thinks that uh, Del Vecchio was offside. He sort of half raised his flag, the referee acknowledged it and let play go on. Well, David O'Leary's furious, he's just come out of the dugout, and rightly so. The linesman's got to keep his flag off, he can't put it up for two seconds and then put it down. Yeah, that's exactly why O'Leary is complaining, and with justification. I mean, you're either offside or you're not, you're not half offside. Fortunately, it all came to nothing from Leeds' point of view. But uh, don't be fooled by the gentle Irish brogue of David O'Leary. He can uh, mix it with the best of them. Well, the game's just hit a little dead period, which... Uh, it's difficult to say whether it will suit Capello's team or David O'Leary's because this try is so in intriguingly poised, of course, at 0 0. And we repeat 0 0, the only scoreline that can produce extra time. Alfie Holland. What a good game he's had. And that was a foul. And that'll be a booking. Vecchio becomes the latest name in uh, referee Garcia Aranda's notebook. Well, that's what Alfie Holland does regularly when he plays in the centre of the park. A big surging run. Del Vecchio grabs him by the shirt. Easy decision for the referee. Kelly's free kick lifted it up really high, and the goalkeeper's lost it, but I think the referee, if he hadn't have uh, regained it, might have given the free kick against Kuehl. His way play on to save time. And Antonioli delivers it right onto the head of Lucas Radaby. Packer winning it back. Oh, yeah, hesitated. And he certainly does look tired tonight, Pebo. He's not been making those surging characteristic runs of his. Hardly surprising the games he's played. In fact, uh, Nigel Martin is now the only Leeds player that has managed to figure in all 40 games for them this season. Jonathan Woodgate had, but of course he's out tonight with a calf problem. Kewell. Oh, great play by Harry Kewell. And turns it on, and Bowyer in position this time. And that was a tired shot and inaccurate. What a chance for Leeds. Well, that's the best chance they've had all evening. Great play from Harry Kuehl. Leeds are running here, almost three on one. Why Boyer elects to shoot from so far out, I'm not quite sure. He certainly should have taken it on. Got himself nicely composed. He's off balance. And that's a poor effort. He's top scorer for Leeds in the UEFA Cup this season with four goals. Lee Boyer. Incidentally, other Italian teams in the UEFA Cup this season are not at the moment faring too well. Both Juventus and Parma are 3-1 down in their respective ties. Totti with a brilliant first-time ball. Del Vecchio given offside. I'll tell you what, the ball that was played from uh, Mangoni wasn't a bad ball either. Great bit of skill, the outside of his foot, and what a bit of vision that is from uh, Totti. Fortunately for Leeds, or you could say it was good play. We got Del Vecchio offside. Just over an hour gone then. And still we await the first goal of this tie. And the 
certainly hasn't been a better chance than the one that fell to Lee Boyer a couple of minutes ago. Well, I'm wondering now when Harry Kuhl looks back at that and he saw the mess that Lee Boyer made of it, if he wonders, should he have gone alone? I think with his terrific pace, I'm sure he could have taken that on and got the shot in on goal. It wasn't wrong to give it to Lee Boyer, just that it was a very tired type of effort, wasn't it, from Lee Boyer? Early in the season, those type of opportunities he was snapping up. Lovely ball, who failed to cure. And that's a great pass too. Wilcox on the end of it. Unfortunately, the cross was uh, always favourite to be caught by Anthony Yoli. And a huge kick downfield by him. Keeps Leeds under pressure. Holland just dragging back Del Vecchio. And Alfie Holland's going to be in trouble with the referee now. Quite clearly there, Alfie Holland holds him back, but the way that Del Vecchio used his body, used his great strength to try and retain possession, there was suspicion of uh, handball used there, certainly used his arm as he tried to control the ball. Very dangerous position, this free kick. Condela, who packs a punch with his... Uh, Right foot, if you'll pardon the expression. Stepping away, and just behind him, Francesco Totti. Ondala hits it. Not much of a punch at all in the end. No, in fact, it was well wide, wasn't it? Subdued, I think, tonight at Allen Road, finding their voices now. Bridges. I think the crowd, Alan, just like us here, sense that Leeds have just come back into it the last few minutes. But that's when the back four of Leeds have to be at their most concentrated. Bridges caught offside here. Certainly, uh, Leeds United have improved in their possession of the ball. Statistics were very different in Rome a week ago. Nakata, Montella, Kelly the defender. Tomazzi. The first time cross over Del Vecchio's head. Wilcox, this is Bridges, and he's turned Zargo brilliantly there. Zargo, a little fortunate to escape a caution in view of the referee's liking for the yellow card. Well, there's no difference, is it, between the way that Alfie Harlan pulled Del Vecchio back and the way that Zargo pulled Bridges back there? Absolutely not, and it would have been uh, Zargo's third caution had it been administered. Which means a suspension, of course. Now Mangoni's got away with a pretty hefty challenge on Harry Kuehl. Holland has had an excellent game. Oh yeah, crowd sensing that this is a vital spell for Leeds. Alfie Holland again, really positive run by the Norwegian player. McPhail. This is better from Leeds, Backer. Boya, Harry Kuehl, chance to hit it perhaps, and he hit it brilliantly, and he scored, Harry Kuehl for Leeds United, how crucial could that be? from Harry Keogh onto his favourite left foot. He's got heart on his left-hand side if he needs it. He drills it in with his left foot. I think the keeper should have done better with this. He gets his hand to it.
but it's, it's not a strong hand, and he can only push it up into the air, off the underside of the crossbar, and Leeds are in front. <laughs> Harry Kewell's 12th goal of the season could not have been timed better. Hold on to your hats now. This tie is going to become something very special. 23 minutes to go. Roma have to score to stay in the competition. That's going to open things up. And I think we're in for a real roller coaster ride from here on. But it's worth reminding you, without dampening the enthusiasm around Allen Road, that if Capello's team score once, and that's how the scoreline remains, they go through on the away goals rule. So although they're a goal behind, they still know that just one successful strike will bring them back into contention for a quarter-final place. But Leeds United are having their best spell of the game, and it's deservedly been rounded off with a goal. And now the referee has flashed another yellow card. And uh, Zago, who was lucky to get away with it a few minutes ago, has got his just desserts. And that means that if they do reach the quarter-final, he won't be able to play in the first leg. Now, Zago's never far away from trouble, is he? I remember the first leg in Rome. Well, not against Leeds, but against Newcastle. He was lucky to stay on the field. Continually fouling Alan Shearer. Hard swinging free kick. Kuhl headed it back brilliantly there from a very tight position on the byline oh Radaby with a swinging tackle he completely missed the ball fortunately the man as well here's Tomazzi well these Roma players won't know that uh, their Serie A rivals Juventus and Palmer are in trouble but it could turn out to be a bad night for the much vaunted Italian league in the UEFA Cup, could. Totti, cleared by Boya. Leeds have found new strength now, and that extra yard for the goal always brings a team. I tell you who played a big part in that goal, Alan, was Alfie Hall, and you know, just leave it there for a second. Totti on the edge of the box here. I couldn't thread the ball through to him. Nakata has hit it out of play, goal kick. Well, I was going to say it was Alfie Holland who led the charge with a big surging run out, out of defence. I looked at the back and it was the first time for a, practically the whole game that Leeds had gone two on two at the back. Holland came out with a determined run and eventually it falls to the foot of Kuehl. Great strike, not particularly good keeping. He gets his hand to it, a good hand, but it's not strong enough. He should have put that around the post, should Antonioli. He only diverts it up onto the crossbar and into the back of the net. Oh yeah, and even he has found a uh, fresh leg, so to speak, now. He was looking a bit uh, jaded earlier on, but that goal has really lifted Ellen Road now. However, Totti comes forward for Roma, and even his shooting is off target tonight. Well, Roma's away form has been poor of late in their own domestic league, where they've only won one of their last nine games and failed to keep a clean sheet in the last six. Well, if Leeds United survive the last 20 minutes here and that scoreline remains the way it is now, this will be one of their great triumphs in Europe. No question about that. Roma are a top, top quality team. I can understand why Dead O'Leary is annoyed. The referee once again attempted to play the advantage rule. It was a free kick to Leeds. He played advantage rule. The ball went out for a throw in. So there was no advantage against the Leeds. And with that uh, old refereeing principle that if you make one mistake, you better make another to even things up, he has finally got it right. Remains the danger man, that's a glorious ball, Del Vecchio! Nigel Martin just got there in time, it was almost 
like he had to put the brakes on to avoid carrying the ball out of the penalty box. Well, I thought he misjudged it, Alan, to be honest. He got it absolutely right. I thought he was... Uh, I thought he got it all wrong, but it was good keeping. It had to be good keeping. Once again, Totti, a familiar ball, he looks up, looks for the pace of Del Vecchio, it goes in, there he is again, looking to play it again, in behind. Not a good header this from Haaland. Totti. Nakata. Totti available again. And has hardly wasted a ball tonight. Rinaldi. Oh, Radaby had to reach that. Nakata misses his attempted volley. McPhail got in his way and did really well there. Taken quickly, Totti's shot blocked by Eric Bakker. Roma having to commit men forward now. Wilcox and Bridges finds the space. Wilcox still going forward and picks out Kuehl. Boyer with him, Kuehl goes alone and I think he, he hit Boyer on the back of the head. That's bizarre and unfortunate from Lee's point of view. Bakker. for Del Vecchio, Holland brings him down and the referee has not given a free kick I think. What a fantastic tackle that was from Holland. I think he was offside Alan as the ball was played I think Del Vecchio was a yard offside but he had to get the tackle right. Well, he certainly didn't get that tackle right Condela. He's already been yellow carded as well. Roma still complaining about the earlier incident. Well, he wasn't offside. He times his run superbly. Well, they had a stroke of luck there, Lee. And Alfie Holland is another who's uh, sitting on one caution. Kills headers, brilliant. And a chance. Suddenly, Boya saw the ball whipped off his toe by Condela. Great little flick this from Harry Kill into the danger area. Boy is onto it. And a desperate lunge there from Candelar clears the danger for Roma. The fails corner. Holland. Ball comes out again. And this time Boya's shot was miles off target. Quarter of an hour to go. Leeds United lead by one precious goal to nil. Alan, that action a couple of minutes ago, you know, when I caught a great challenge by Alfie Arland on Del Vecchio, looking at it for a second time, I'm not so sure that it was a good challenge. I think that possibly he didn't get the ball, took Del Vecchio, and if he did, the referee surely would have had to have given a free kick and send Haaland off, having already been booked. He's got away with it. Well, they played well. Nigel Martin played magnificently in Rome last week. They also had a few slices of good fortune, Leeds United. But the good teams are usually the lucky ones, and Leeds have played well enough in this competition before this round to deserve a little bit of fortune here and there. They've certainly had it against Roma over the two games, but how well they've taken their luck. Now there's going to be a change made by Roma. Eusebio Di Francesco, the player waiting to come on here, and it looks like Nakata is the man he will replace. The Japanese player off to be replaced by the Italian international, who's been uh, just over a couple of years now with Roma. Well, a few contenders for the Man of the Match award tonight, I would think. There's another 
free kick goes against Leeds United. And if he stays 1-0, Alan, they're going to be one man of the match. And that's the guy that's got the all-important goal. And a foul on Montello, and that looked a rather harsh decision. And chipped forward for Montella. Fortunately, Nigel, the referee's lost the plot here. He's made them take the free kick again. So they get a second bite. And Rinaldi will take it again. And it's a good one. Oh! And Poland squares up to Del Vecchio, who must have been inches away, presumably he's saying to the referee, I was prevented from reaching that. I think it was Del Vecchio who gets the final touch. Well, he does, but he sees it very, very late, and he can't get good contact on it. And as I mentioned, the whole list of candidates for the Man of the Match award, 09-009-11-22, 33. Give us your call now and your vote. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Totti. Del Vecchio. Montella up in support. And he went for goal. And couldn't find it. Just look at the box scene there, Alan. Di Francesco, Candela, Montella, they're all waiting for the pullback. He elects to go alone. Great ball again, he finds space Del Vecchio. But that's an impossible angle, you can see Nigel Martin's got the near post well covered. And that is a very poor effort. Well, if Leeds United can hold on here, what a prospect opens up for them. Sarbia Prague, the least known the teams at this stage of the competition least known doesn't mean that you're not a good side of course and anybody who can beat Udinese must be a decent side here's Totti that's a useful ball as well and Di Francesco stopped in his tracks by excellent Leeds defending again will we all be back here in seven days' time at Ellen Road to see Leeds United take on Slavia Prague. Or can the Italians snatch that all-important goal yet? Rinaldi's cross is a good one. Once again, as it was in Rome, I have to say, last week, for all the excellent play by Capello's team, their marksmanship has been found wanting. Mangoni that time. Oh, that's a great ball, wasn't it, from uh, Rinaldi? Picked up Mangoni, who had gone forward. Onto his head, but not a good header. Looks if Leeds Allen are going to make a substitution. Alan Smith warming up. I can only imagine that's for Bridges. He's done well tonight. He's run himself into the ground. But fresh legs are needed at this moment. Here's Del Vecchio. Dangerous ball across. That could have been deflected anywhere. And uh, very relieved. Ian Hart sees it deflected for a corner. Yes, he's, he's continually getting in behind now, Del Vecchio. Kelly... Leeds have got to get their shape right at the back. He's the threat at the moment, Del Vecchio, with his runs. Getting himself just in behind in that inside left position. Smith waits, the corner's been taken. Rinaldi with a back healer. Mondela gets it into the box again, there's Montella. Goal kick. Into the last nine minutes at Ellen Road. Leeds United on the verge of a famous triumph. A standing ovation for Michael Bridges, who, just as he did in Rome a week ago, as Trevor rightly says, has run himself into the ground. He was a lone striker that night in the Olympic Stadium. He's had a lot more support tonight, and he deserves every pat on the back. Alan Smith, that feisty, talented striker, on in his place now. He was also a late substitute in the first leg. Hart. And a 
He's straight into the action as usual. He doesn't hang around Alan Smith. Uh, that was quite a good ball that from Ian Hart in the right place, in behind Zago. Well, they've had some thrilling European nights here. I think the uh, time player must have made a gesture to the crowd there. They all stood on their feet and uh, gestured back, and suddenly Nigel Martin had to make a gesture of defiance as Condola's shot unexpectedly came through the crowd. Mangoni. Well, it doesn't really matter where he uh, is effective, but Alan Smith immediately closing down defenders, making life difficult for them. And then another good tackle wins it back for Leeds United. Great play by the same Alan Smith. Oh, well, what a start he's made since coming on as a substitute. Winning challenges, that'll do. Running at defenders, not giving them time to play the ball out. However, here's the ever-dangerous Totti. Little nudge, the referee's given the free kick. This game on a knife edge, seven minutes to go. Leeds so close to victory, but a one single goal by Roma will change the picture dramatically. Yes, there's one or two tired legs now in this Leeds team. They've given everything. Wouldn't surprise me if uh, David O'Leary considers bringing on a midfield player, possibly Matthew Jones, who played in the first leg. He needs fresh legs. Condela and Totti again, the two players over the ball. Condela takes it. Oh, well, there's a jeer of disapproval from the crowd, but that looked pretty close from where I'm sitting. And uh, David O'Leary now about to make that change. And what a splendid job Eric Backer did for Leeds United tonight. Deserves that applause. Matthew Jones on in his place. The young Welsh international who, of course, played in the first leg. Well, it's broken up the rhythm. Just yes. up a bit of time. Yes, and now they've got the goal. You can see that Eddie Gray just down there giving instructions to uh, Jason Wilcox just to play slightly narrower. And Matthew Jones, he's gone into the area where Totti is positioned. I believe that was the job that uh, he started out doing in Rome, wasn't it? That's right. So Roma's record of having never won a European tie in this country looks, at the moment, as though it's going to continue. But there's five minutes to go plus stoppage time. Di Francesco. Totti short here, Condela's got other ideas, he's going to keep going. Montella couldn't play the one-two, Alfie Holland's clearance. Smith wins it ahead of Zago. Oh, there, a stretch to keep it clear of Harry Kuehl. Now the Brazilian again. Roma committing nine players forward in this attack. Offside. Vecchio is surely offside, he is. Not a difficult decision for the linesman, Del Vecchio straight offside. Anxious to get in there. Just made his run slightly too early. Leads out a good line on the edge of the box. Kuehl's header drops to McPhail. Condola wins it back. Di Francesco. Two in the middle for him. Another's arriving. One of them is Totti, but the cross was poor. The reason, I don't think it was the worst cross, Alan, but uh, the three players there, Montella, Del Vecchio and Totti, they all went towards the near post. Didn't space out right. None of them wanted to go to the back post. Wasn't the worst ball. Last 
four games, Leeds United have only conceded one goal, and that was here against Manchester United. If they can stretch that record by just a few more minutes and another match, then they will have two more matches, at least in this season's UEFA Cup, the competition in which their manager has insisted all along he didn't really think they would make much progress in. Well, he's been playing that game all season, David O'Leary. And it's worked very, very well so far. On the lap, another surging run forward. Di Francesco. The Frenchman again. Totti. And once more, Nigel Martin read the danger and Delvecchio went in on him. That's why the Leeds players are unhappy. Delvecchio has already been cautioned, remember. Well, for me, that was six to one after the other. I think that Nigel Martin wasn't totally blameless there. Well, the referee's attention has been drawn to the touchline. Leeds United were trying to make a change there. That's why they told Nigel Martin not to take the free kick. They're trying to bring on Darren Huckabee, but the referee ignored that. Kewell, Wilcox. Just keep the ball now. That's got to be the uh, main philosophy for Leeds United. Kewell. It's a uh, throw into Roma, and at least an opportunity for Leeds now to bring on Huckabee for McPhail. Well, most of his 30-odd appearances for Leeds have been as a substitute. He's fresh and ready to run at them. But here's Tomasi for Roma, who are a minute plus stoppage time away from elimination. Leeds United are on the brink of a tremendous triumph here. Well, I thought they were going to get a free kick then. That wasn't the case. So oh, Roma have possession. They can't be losing the ball like that. They've just got to pass the ball, keep possession. Hondela. Totti cleared by Radaby. Zagos pumped it back in again. Totti's there. Radaby with a really important clearance. Alvi Holland gets it away further. That's great play by Leeds. Lee Boya into stoppage time at Ellen Road. Huckabee gets his first touch. The other substitute, Smith, well placed. Oh, and the defender got that ahead of the goalkeeper. Total confusion. Smith. Well played, Leeds. Just keep it now. That's the byword. Wilcox knows that. And just for your information, the board, four minutes of injury time. Not what Leeds United want to, to see. Nail-biting four minutes to endure here in Yorkshire. That's how far away Leeds United are from a place in the UEFA Cup quarter-finals as Totti played it in. Oh, there was a chance for Del Vecchio. A weak header, fortunately for Leeds, straight at Martin. Well, there's a dangerous ball. Del Vecchio doesn't make contact. Well, Alan Smith's gone for everything since he came on, and he's really troubled the Roma defenders. He's got to avoid getting involved, though, like this. This is the, this is the unfortunate side of Smith's game. Didn't need to do that. He, he, was, uh, he was bothering them with his ability and competitive nature. Don't get involved like that. That'll spoil everything. Zargo. Zargo's off. off. Zargo's off. And Smith's got a caution as well. The referee doesn't realise it, though, does he, Alan? He's already booked him. Zago's got to go. He has now. That could be the final act of drama at Ellen Road. Now, why doesn't 
Kewell and Smith and Huckabee keep out of it here. Come on, boys, you're minutes away from a place in the quarter-final. Don't get involved. Other players rushing to get involved now. They don't need to do this. I just hope the referee sticks to his decision and only a yellow card for Alan Smith. Because at the moment, he's lost the plot. He's got a red card in his hand, the referee, whether that's the one he showed to Zargo. I don't know. It looks like another red card. That's Candelar's off as well. It is. Well, this is unbelievable finale to a dramatic European night here at Allen Road. And Roma have been reduced to nine men now. Maybe the referee hasn't finished yet, he's still got that card in his hand. Well, stewards are getting involved and members of the Roma coaching staff down on the touchline here. Scenes of mayhem. Fabio Capello arguing, he's being told to go back to the technical area where, strictly speaking, he's not supposed to leave anyway. Well, there is something about these European nights that is always likely to produce headlines, and that has happened again here in the last embers of this game. We have seen a wonderful Harry Kewell goal and two red cards shown to Roma players. Well, I have to say, Italian teams down the years have never been known for losing with dignity and good grace, and I think that trend is continuing here. Well, surely they can't get the goal they need now with only nine men on the pitch. Tomazzi, heaven knows how long it is to go now, because, of course, the referee will have stopped his watch during that confrontation. That's another bad challenge, that from Totti. They've really lost their heads now. If they're not careful, there'll be somebody else being sent off. The best thing the referee can do is... Blow his whistle, end the game. I think Leeds would certainly agree with that. They are now, presumably, just seconds away from victory, Leeds United. Well, I said hold on to your hats, but I would never have expected an ending quite like this. And here's the man whose goal surely will send Leeds into the quarter-finals. Wilcox. Roma get the throw. They've got to pump it forward now, but Wilcox has won it back. He's got Huckabee with him and couldn't find his feet there. Well, it was a careless pass from Wilcox, wasn't it? Because Smith, or was it Huckabee made the extra man? be so good tonight, Alan. He's been excellent at the back. He's been like a rock for Leeds, held them together. Huckabee is brought down. Just what Leeds needed. Breathe in, take your time, don't do anything silly, don't do anything too adventurous, just keep that ball. Smith almost did that, but now has lost possession. Well, only the unimpressive Spanish referee knows how long there is to go now. That's it. And he has blown the final whistle, and Harry Kewell's goal has given David O'Leary's team a place in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup, and a fantastic triumph over two legs against one of the best teams in Italy and therefore one of the best teams in Europe. Well, David O'Leary said it'll be no big deal if we lose, but it's one hell of a big deal now that they've won, believe you me. They went to the Olympic Stadium, they survived 
A very, very tricky night. Their goalkeeper, Nigel Martin, produced awesome form to keep Roma at bay. Harry Kuehl was brilliant that night as well. But his crucial strike in the second half here tonight added to Italian indiscipline in the dying minutes of the game has given Leeds United one of their most famous triumphs. Don Revy would have approved. They certainly do. And the Australian, whose talent has illuminated English football ever since he was discovered, has produced a goal that he won't forget. And even the chairman, Peter Ridsdale, on the field, congratulating his players as they come off. And uh, Roy Aiken, newly uh, promoted on the coaching staff, joining in those celebrations. And Trevor, with your experience of Italian football and your knowledge of how good this Roma team can be, we cannot exaggerate what a terrific victory this has been. It's a massive victory, Alan. David O'Leary is absolutely ecstatic. He knows just what a fantastic two performances this has been. The players, that they played with such belief, such enthusiasm. Once they got their nose in front, they worked so hard to keep that 1-0 advantage. There were some tired legs out there, players not totally fit, but they've kept going right to the 90th minute, and they deserved it. Rome have been inconsistent this season away from home. I just thought that tonight, perhaps, the difference between the two teams would be Harry Kuehl. He's Leeds' best player, and he's proved to be their match winner yet again. That brilliant left foot drive of his has won the match, and it's only what they deserved. Well, I must say, having been at the first leg seven days ago, I really had doubts that Leeds United could go through. I am delighted to say they have proved me wrong. Over two legs, they have contained and then beaten an excellent Roma side. And by a score of 1-0 here tonight and over the two legs, they have gone through to meet Slavia Prague in the quarterfinals. And remember, the first leg of that tie will be played seven days from now here at Ellen Road. And then the second leg a week later in the Czech Republic. Fantastic victory. The celebrations will go on long into the night here at Ellen Road, Richard. Reaction very shortly now, but a word about our football this weekend. First of all, Friday at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Sky Sports 2. It's Swansea against Northampton. It's interactive as well on Sky Sports Extra. Midday on Sunday, Sky Sports 2, and again, interactive on Sky Sports Extra from the first division. This time it's Blackburn against Crewe followed by a crucial match in every respect. The Yorkshire Derby, Bradford need points to stay afloat. Leeds need another three to keep on the tails of Manchester United. They meet Sunday, three o'clock, Sky Sports 1, and again, interactive on Sky Sports Extra. Well, that really is an extraordinary and great win for Leeds United. Palmer are out as well, the holders. So for the first time in 16 years, we do not have an Italian team at the quarter-final stage. The thoughts of Alan and Graham very shortly now on a very, very, very big win for Leeds United at Allen Road. They have beaten Roma by a goal to nil. The reaction comes next. Dearest mother, finally my big break in movies. I have met an artist of the finest caliber. You're a nice guy. With his furious fist, he shatters shysters. Any problem with that? With his flying feet, he drops dilettantes. No problem. And destroys the dastardly. Jackie, be careful. Yesterday was my close-up. Daddy would have been so proud. Thank you for your generosity. Watch myself and Jackie Chan in the first showing of Mr. Nice Guy, Wednesday at 10 on Sky Movie Max. Something missing? Whatever you're looking for on the internet, Lycos retrieves it. Lycos goes to extraordinary lengths to dig up exactly what you need. Lycos, your personal internet guide. Lycos.co.uk 
in April, there's going to be a big shake-up in mobile phones. If your number doesn't begin with 07, you'll have to change it. So why not upgrade now to the Ericsson T10 from First Line? It's small, stylish and free. So maybe now's the time to give your old phone the push. Call First Line now on 0800 052 1089 for a mobile phone offer that makes sense in any language. It was a big bang that started everything. Not a small bang or a medium-sized bang. Apparently only a big one would do. Since then, good old-fashioned bigness has been doing very nicely. Let's face it. It's not a small, narrow world. It's a big, wide one. After all, no bride ever lost sleep because she was worried about her small day. And no businessman has ever stood up and announced, gentlemen, I've seen the little picture. I don't think so, do you? And if someone is watching this, you can be pretty sure it won't be little brother. It's true that big can be scary. Big never is when it's on your side. Good boy. I am a prisoner, held by steel rails. Where they lead, I must follow. Oh, to be a real driver on one of your island's twisted roads, with their turns and tight corners, in a celica, swallowing curves. It obeying me. Think of that, and think of me next time you decide to hang a right. The new Toyota Celica. nil with a sensational strike by the Australian Harry Kewell. Here's Peter Staunton. Elland Road's biggest European night for 25 years, the last time they reached the quarter-finals. At nil-nil after the first leg, Leeds fans were expecting nothing less than victory. Roma, though, are one of the class sides of the Italian first division. In a tight first half, Leeds found few openings, and what they did create, Roma were comfortably soaking up. Harry Kewell was looking the most likely striker to break the deadlock, but the Roma keeper was rarely stretched. By halfway through the second period, the pressure was building, but Leeds stayed calm and finally put together the move which destroyed the Italian defence. Kewell getting a lucky bounce off the keeper. His 12th of the season, it may end up being the most important of all. Roma fell apart after that. The end was far from pretty. Alan Smith got a yellow card. Two Roma players were given red cards. But it hardly mattered. David O'Leary's youngsters had finally emulated the Leeds legends of the 70s. Peter Staunton, ITN Sport. Confirmation of that result, Leeds 1-0 victory over Roma puts them through 1-0 on aggregate. They'll meet Slavia Prague in the quarterfinals next week. And in tonight's other big UEFA tie, Deportivo La Coruna beat Arsenal 2-1, but Arsenal go through 6-3 on aggregate. They play Werder Bremen next. Tonight's main headline again.